Two weeks later, on a bright but bitterly cold Saturday in October, Frank decided to thrash his field of oats. Eamon's yellow fortune is providing the power to the thrasher, and Frank's major is powering Joe McCulloch's Jones Baylor. Fred Faulkner has returned to give a demonstration of flailing. Flailing corn was a practice used before the invention of thrashing mills. The flail was two sticks, usually made from hazel, and tied together. The man thumped the sheath of corn and the vibration knocked off the ears or pickles. A good wind was needed to blow the shaft away. Farm labourers 200 years ago, after a long day's working, would have been expected to flail corn perhaps until 10 o'clock at night to feed the animals the next day. With so many belts on a thrashing machine, it was not unusual for one or more to fly off or even break. Roadside repairs were often called upon. However, in spite of all his difficulties, Frank got a good return on his field of oats. The following weekend, and with the good autumn weather holding, it was time to thrash Mickey's corn. Paddy is bringing the corn hutch to the thrasher using a buck rake. This mill is a Crichton, built in Scotland, and belonging to Brendan McLarnham. Thrashers or thrashing machines first came onto the market as far back as 1784 and the first one was invented by a Scotsman, Andrew Merkel. It was horse powered and separated the grain from the stalks much quicker and cleaner than the flails. As well as separating the grain from the stalks, the thrasher had its own built in fan which blew the chaff away and left the clean corn pickles. While this machine took away the hard labour of flailing, it put thousands of farm labourers out of work. In England in 1830, labourers revolted and went around the country smashing up machines and threatening farmers. These rioters were dealt with very harshly. Nine of them were hanged and 450 transported to Australia. Eamon's new Fordson is driving the thrasher and the baler. The block of timber is placed in front of the back wheel to keep the pulley belt tight. This Fordson tractor had no handbrake. Willie Turner, another film star from Farming Down the Years, is on top of the thrasher along with Tom Kearney from Port Lanoon. Willie's son Barry, along with Eamon, are forking up the sheaves. The men attending the bags are John Joe Doherty and John McKenna. Liam Donnelly is bringing one of his Fordsons forward to thrash a few huts. This is his 1939 model, recently rebuilt. She has got her first coat of undercoat and will be sprayed harvest gold. These tractors were commonly known as the Orange Fordsons. Barry's son Sean is now assisting with the forking. The big tractor is a Fordson Major with a Perkins six-cylinder diesel engine. Known as the P6 Major, this tractor has plenty of power and will thrash the remaining huts in a short time. <laughs> 